the climate is changing now. Across the globe, it has diverse local impacts. Starting today, we're building a public data bank of personal stories about how people are sensing climate change locally. Here are a few. I'm Lucy, and here in Philly, you can smell climate change. Exploding sewers, flooding sinkholes, and a rapidly multiplying mosquito population show how my city's infrastructure will collapse under increased rainfall and extreme heat. I'm April. Oregon's Willamette River is getting lower and warmer. Its waters are washing masses of dead salmon ashore. The Kalapuya are losing an essential food, and we are all thirsty. I'm Grace from South Africa. Last year, I tried to wash my hands in Cape Town, but all the taps produced was a mist. Cape Town cannot keep up with severe drought and intense population. I'm Meg. I'll never forget my first plane trip to Tanzania in 2000, the thrill of seeing Mount Kilimanjaro's snowy peak above the clouds. When I flew there this summer, it looked bare. I'm Bethany. When I grew up in Maine, the ocean water took our breath away, but this summer, we could swim for nearly an hour before our feet grew numb. My name is Margaret. I'm hearing climate change and my grandmother's concerns that her air conditioner won't make it through Wisconsin's next heat wave. Sharing our stories connects climate change to the here and now and to the people and places we love. Climate change isn't just recorded by atmospheric and ocean sensors. Our human sensations also provide data for a shared understanding of how climate change is shaping experiences across the globe. How we feel matters, and our feelings inform how we will respond. We want to know. What's your story?